Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can add text to any shape you have drawn within a page. When you do this, Publisher will convert the selected shape to a text box. However, since you have many shapes at your disposal, you can see that a text box does not have to be a literal box shape. Using this technique lets you create text circles, text triangles, and many, many other types of text-containing shapes. To do this, select the shape that you have drawn in your page to which you want to add text. Then start typing the text you want the shape to contain. Publisher will immediately convert the shape into a text-containing shape as you start to type. At that point, you will notice that the Format tab of the Textbox Tools Contextual tab will appear in the ribbon, in addition to the existing Format tab of the Drawing Tools Contextual tab. As you are adding text to shapes and text boxes, if you add more text than can be displayed within the selected shape, the resizing handles that appear around the border of the object will turn red to let you know that the shape contains more text than it can display. You will also see an ellipsis mark appear on the border of the selected object to let you know that the text is overflowing the shape. To fix this, you can resize the shape so that it is large enough to display the text that it contains or you can link the text in the shape to another empty shape and the overflow text will then display in the second shape. We will examine how to perform both of these tasks in later lessons. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.